Hello everybody, Sinead Grimes Beach here from LustInLala.com and in today's video, I am gonna be walking you through all of my many, many product empties of 2017. I don't wanna tip it too much to show you how full this bowl is because I've already spilled it multiple times, but I am going to be telling you what products I love, which products I need to buy again, and which ones I would not bother buying again. Luckily, I'm a bit of a hoarder. You'll see a lot of these are almost empties. That is because when I love a product, I try and like savor it, you know, just hang on to the little bit that is left. So not practical for life or storage space, but very practical for a product empties video. Since this one is already in my hand, I will tell you a little bit about it. It is the Bioderma um, Micellar Solution, Micellar. Micellar, I don't even know how to pronounce that fancy word. I got it in Canada when I was filming my new show, The Detail in Toronto. The makeup artist recommended it to me. When I wear a lot of makeup, as I do on set when I'm filming, my skin totally breaks out. And this is a really quick way to clean your face, which is awesome after shooting 15 hours a day. This product works really well to break down makeup and I wouldn't recommend using it on its own, but I definitely did that a lot when I was filming because I was so exhausted by the time I came home and couldn't be bothered to do multiple steps. So I only use this, sorry, and uh, it worked really well. <laughs> so again, I recommend pairing it with another product, but um, it does an amazing job at removing all of your makeup. The next skincare product I'm gonna show you is this Charlotte Tilbury Take It All Off Genius Eye Makeup Remover. I have been a Lancome eye makeup remover fan for my entire life. It's what my mom always used, so it's what I started off using. I have tried so many different products if I can't find the Lancome light blue color in store, and they sting my eyes, they burn my eyes, or they just don't take off my eye makeup at all. This is the Close Runner Up from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. I mean, it works basically the same as Lancome, so maybe they're tied for first spot, not a runner up. It really removes all of your makeup. It does not irritate my eyes at all so I would definitely be buying this product again. Another face wash. This is First Aid Beauty's Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I have very very sensitive skin. I've talked about it before. I've suffered with mild rosacea my entire life. I have a lot of redness in my skin pigment and I actually discovered this on somebody else's blog. I can't remember whose, otherwise I would totally give you credit, I'm sorry, but it is awesome because it is for sensitive skin, it does not irritate my skin at all, which is very rare. I use this after my oil cleanser or after my micellar, micellar, micell, water, whatever, Bioderma's water, that thing in this. Jar. I'm definitely going to be buying this one again. TMI guys, I totally suffer from dry scalp a lot of the time. I think it has something to do with traveling so much and different areas having different types of water. Whenever I go from the west coast to the east coast especially, I get bad dry scalp and it's really embarrassing and makes me really self-conscious and I end up just wearing a hat the entire time. Um, head and shoulders is the best. I know it's just a drugstore product that's super affordable, but I've tried higher end products from Sephora or you know my local beauty shops and they just don't do the trick like Head & Shoulders does. Another shampoo situation that I need to mention is the Aveda Invadi Advanced. I love this stuff. I was actually gifted it for the first time to do a sponsored blog post, which I will link to somewhere in here because it'll give you all the facts and stats about Embody, but I love this stuff. The whole point of the Embody process is to reduce hair loss. That is what it's for, but when I hear reduce hair loss, and I'm not sure this is necessarily an accurate scientific comparison, but I hear hair thickening and I hear hair growing. So I love those things. It just makes my head feel really good. There's something kind of almost minty fresh about it. You get a little bit of a tingling sensation. It just makes you feel like your hair is super, super clean. Your scalp is super, super clean. And my hair always looks 
really luscious after I use this. So I am a huge fan of these products from Aveda. This eye cream I was also given by my makeup artist on The Detail. She is awesome. Thank you very much, Robbie. Um, it's Antipodes Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream. I am always going through different eye creams, trying out the best ones. I get a lot of dark circles because there's a little bit of like hollowness happening, aging in full effect. And this just makes me feel really hydrated. I love it. I have completely run out of it. Um, so I am going to be buying that again ASAP. One more eye cream I have gotten through is from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's the C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Eye Cream. It is, again, just really good. Collagen means adding fullness and suppleness to your skin. Brighten, that's what I need because of all the dark circles I get under my eyes. And firming up. You know, got to firm up, want to keep those fine lines at bay. So this is another good one. Um, Dr. Dennis Gross also does these amazing pads. They're like peel pads. But if you get the mild ones, which is what I have to get because I have sensitive skin, they work really good and just make your skin feel like you're shedding all the old stuff that doesn't need to be there anymore and exposing the new fresh skin. Eminence Organic Skin Care's Rosehip Triple C Plus E Firming Oil. I like to use this at nighttime before I put on my moisturizer before bed. It really, really crazy hydrates my skin. I have a friend who has perfect skin and she, I asked her, you know, what do you do to your skin? Why is your skin so perfect? I don't understand. And she was like, nothing. I'm like, what do you mean nothing? Like, what are your steps? What is your skincare regimen? She was like, I literally don't even wash my face most of the time, which is awful. Don't do that. But she did say that her one product that she swears by is rosehip oil. So I immediately started Googling what the best one was and this one came up. I don't know if it is the best one, but I like it a lot. This product is a moisturizer from Epicurean. It's called Nourish Daily Antioxidant Moisturizer. I really like it. This is another one that's like almost empty because I liked it so much that I didn't want to completely finish it, <laughs> which is so weird when I say it out loud. But I have hung on to this one because I did like it a lot and it just works daily, daytime. This is the moisturizer that I have been using. I got it to replace the Epicurean one that I just showed you, even though it wasn't completely finished. And I really like this one because again, I have very sensitive skin. I have a lot of redness in my skin. And this one is from BioElements. It's called Calmitude. Calmitude, sensitive skin moisturizer pretty self-explanatory. It is ultra gentle moisturizer for sensitive skin and that indeed it is. I use this morning and night. I don't bother switching it up because it's good so I don't need to. The next two products I'm going to show you, you can use one after the other or you can use them separately, whatever your pretty little heart desires. They are both from Charlotte Tilbury. One is her Goddess Skin Clay Mask. This thing is amazing. It is not completely empty because I was lucky enough to receive a few of them from Charlotte Tilbury but it's phenomenal. It literally says visibly lifts, smooth, brightens, and tightens pores for baby skin. Baby skin. That's what we all want. I, I would take, you know, 20 year old skin. I would take like 13 year old skin. Baby skin. I mean, baby skin's got to be the winner for sure. And it is awesome. This stuff is her Multi Miracle Glow. It's cleanser, mask, and balm, again, for baby soft skin. I use it as a hydrating mask. Um, you can actually sleep with this mask on. So after you cleanse everything, get those pores all tightened, you can pop this guy on and just head straight to bed and wash it off in the morning. It really hydrates your skin and just leaves you with a really nice, clean complexion. None of this is sponsored, by the way. This video is not sponsored. I will be raving a little bit more about certain brands, but that's just because I love them that much. Charlotte Tilbury being one of them. There are quite a few of her products in this bowl. I just love her. Again, not sponsored, but I just have tried a lot of her products. I was lucky enough to receive a kind of gift package after one of her makeup artists did my makeup for the Much Music Video Awards. So I got to try everything out and I completely fell in love with a lot of them. The next product I'm going to talk about is from Holistic Vanity. 
I assume they must sell online. I'm not sure if it's a Canadian company, but I got this product after I got a facial when I was in Toronto from Pure and Simple. Great facials if you're in Toronto. I don't know if they're all over Canada or what. I wish they had one in LA, but they don't. I've looked. Um, it's a hyaluronic lupin protein serum. And what is great about this stuff is all their products are like very natural. I have another exfoliant that I'm not completely done with, so it's not in this bowl, but it's kind of more of a peel than an exfoliant because it doesn't have beads in it. And beads tend to really irritate the redness in my skin, so I try and stay away from them. I have very thin skin. I already have broken capillaries. I'm only 28, so those will never go away. So I don't want to keep rubbing and rubbing and scratching cells off the surface of my skin and creating more capillary broken capillaries. So I like to use exfoliants that actually have no beads in them whatsoever. They're more peels to help remove all the dead skin cells. But this serum is great. Okay, moving into a little bit of hair care. Um, this is the Bumble and Bumble Blondish Hair Powder. I talk about this all the time. I use it in pretty much all of my hair tutorials because it's great. It is hair pow powder that works as a dry shampoo. It definitely does the trick of kind of adding some volume to your roots when your locks get a little bit greasy it takes that all away but it is colored so it doesn't leave you with that like white santa claus effect <laughs> um it is awesome and i do love it which is why i have gone through it entirely but when my mom was recently visiting me she showed me her Moroccan oil dry shampoo. And again, this is colored. I have the dark tone ones because I tend to keep my roots quite dark, but they also have a light tone one. Same thing, it's colored so it avoids that whole white Santa Claus dry shampoo effect, but it just smells so good. And there's something that is a little bit lighter weight about the Moroccan oil one. When you put it in your hair, it, it really doesn't leave that kind of sticky residue feeling that's just yucky. You know, you want to have hair that looks good, but you also want to have it feel good. If somebody, you know, is rubbing their fingers through your hair, stroking your hair, you don't want them to kind of do that and then be like, ooh. So this avoids that. I would definitely recommend this guy over the Bumble and Bumble one. This product is another Bumble and Bubble product. It's Surf Infusion. It's oil and salt infused spray for soft sea tossed waves with sheen. I really like this. I have always used Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. I think it adds a really nice texture to clean hair. I like hair that looks a little grittier and a little messed up. Um, but this one has oil in it as well, so it doesn't make it look too dry, whereas a lot of salt sprays really add a drying effect, especially to your ends especially especially if they're colored the only downside to this is it's really really hard to spray out of the bottle it's really messy i think the oil and the salt spray don't necessarily meld that well together so it makes it a little bit of a nightmare to actually get out and apply onto your hair but once you do it works really well so just know that you may have to wash your hands after spraying this in case you haven't noticed i have inched closer and closer to the camera that is because i'm trying to control the light but it is the middle of the day and the sun keeps moving so yeah here i am up close and personal now hope you don't mind sorry about the weird framing that has just been like boom 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 it's like that um that filter on Instagram. This is my Hourglass Lip Oil. I love this stuff. I have really dry lips. I feel like people always comment about it on Instagram, which is a little bit embarrassing. Thanks a lot, guys. But I do have a lot of lines in my lips. I just have dry lips. It is what it is. And I don't even live in a cold climate, so I don't know why, but I do drink a lot of water, I swear. It's just life. And this product helps me out a lot, especially prior to applying any lipstick. If it's matte lipstick, especially, you wanna eliminate as much of those lines and cracks as possible. To help me in that, I still have a lot of this stuff left, but I thought I would mention it because I think it pairs really well with the Hourglass Lip Oil. It's the Sugar Lip Polish from Fresh. This stuff you can't beat. I feel like it is a bestseller at every beauty store. It just exfoliates your lips perfectly, tastes really nice too, and then I apply my Hourglass Lip Oil on top. Now for a little bit of makeup to finish everything off. 
again, Charlotte Tilbury, what's up? Um, this is her look in a palette. It is so filthy and disgusting. I don't even know if I can show you this right now. It is covered, but only because I don't use the mirror as a mirror. I use it as a palette to kind of pat off my brush or mix colors. So ignore this. But you can see I have gotten to the bottom of a lot of the shades in this palette. I live for this palette. I actually got two. I gave one to my sister-in-law, who's a bit more of a beginner with makeup, and I'm pretty sure she likes it. It's really self-explanatory. You follow the steps. It's got a bronzer. It's got a highlighter. It's got a darker blush tone. It's got a really poppy, bright cheek tone, and it has three shades of eyeshadow, one to use as a highlight, one to use as a lid, and one to use as a crease. It's just kind of perfection in a palette. This is another palette that I love. It's a lot smaller, but it's very, very cute. It's from Gigi Hadid by Maybelline. I did a full review on her entire collection. You can find it on my channel, but I will also link to it in my description and maybe somewhere on the screen right now. I love this palette. This is the West Coast palette. One of the colors in particular is phenomenal. It's a beautiful taupe color. I've never really seen an eyeshadow quite that color, and I use it a lot, a lot. The one downside to this palette that I will say is there is a lot of fallout. So I would recommend doing your eyes first before you apply your foundation if you're gonna use this palette. This is another major fave of mine. I always, always do a cat eye when I do my makeup, and Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner pen is the winner. This is the one little piece of Kat Von D that I have in my collection and I love it. I may venture out and start to try some of her crazier colors because I am really feeling metallic makeup for 2018 and I think she does them well. But for now, this is my fave. I've had it for so long that it doesn't even look all black anymore. <laughs> it is time for a new one. So 2018 tattoo liner, I'm coming for you. For mascara, this one is one that I have pretty much used up. It's a little bit dried out because I have used it ever since I tried it. This one is also from Gigi Hadid by Maybelline. It is covered in that review that I was telling you about that you can watch below. I know that it's basically just another repackaged Lash Sensational mascara by Maybelline, but I really like the Gigi Hadid pack packaging. I really like that kind of millennial pink and gold colorway that they went with. I think it's really pretty, so I will be getting another one of these. NYC Smooch Proof Lip Stain. I live for this stuff. It is so perfect. It says it lasts 16 hours. I believe that. I, I never have to reapply it. Once I put it on, it is there. I can drink, I can eat, I can smooch away, and it does not go anywhere. It lasts forever, so I definitely need to restock on these guys. One of the products that I wanna tell you about, I don't even have with me because I sadly got rid of it, but I feel like I have to mention it because it is NARS Concealer. Their Creamy Radiant Concealer is the best concealer in the game. I did try the Shape Tape thing from Tarte for a minute. I do appreciate why other people love it so much because the coverage is insane, but for a more natural look, which I feel like I need to do because I am just getting older, I cannot have product caking up in the lines around my eyes and stuff like that, and I just found that the Tarte Shape Tape did that. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just gives you the coverage that you need without it looking cakey at all, and it wears so well all day long. So throwing that out there, I definitely need a new one. I don't even have one to show you right now, but that's my favorite concealer in the game. My favorite foundation, which I can't believe I've already gone through, is the Dior Skin Nude Air. This stuff is phenomenal. It covers your face, it lasts all day, but it's really sheer. It lets all of your kind of perfect imperfections come through. If you've got freckles, they'll still show. It, you still look like you have a human being's face instead of this like caked out craziness that might be good for a makeup tutorial, but is not practical for everyday wear. And the last product that I am going to show you that I have completely gone through, I've squeezed it like a toothpaste tube, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I have tried out a bunch of the different Smashbox primers. I've tried the pore refining one. I've tried the one that's green that's supposed to cancel out redness. I've tried the light finish. I have tried the SBF one. I've tried all of them. This is still far and away my favorite. I think it just 
really creates a nice smooth surface for me to apply my makeup on. I feel like my makeup wears so much better and the texture of my skin looks so much more velvety after application. So this is a must, must, must have. That is officially the bottom of my product empties bowl. I have gone through a lot of stuff and I wanna hear what you guys thought about the products that I have used. If you've tried them yourself, let me know. If you have any product recommendations for 2018, some new products that I haven't tried out before, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel where you will see a new video each and every week. P.S. Out with the old, in with the new is a running theme in my life right now. Go figure, it's the beginning of the year. So I am chatting my new hair on the blog. I am gonna give you all of the details of my new hairstyle. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's, you know, a little bit longer because hair magic is possible. And it's a little bit more of a 70s vibe. It's a vibe I thought I would try out. I've never really done it before. So yeah, I hope you like it. Check it out right now. I will link to it in the video description below. And I will see you next week.